that poor mitochondria that's being absolutely decimated by our environment and its capacity is low. Okay, so that mitochondria is like, I can't process glucose or fatty acids to ATP very well, so I'm gonna block their entry into the cell. So now you've got glucose rising in the bloodstream. If that's going up, that is a little bit of that tapestry of maybe something's going on inside the cell that's blocking the entry into the cell, so it's rising the bloodstream. The, this, the body does not want lots of glucose floating around in the bloodstream because it can literally independently cause endothelial dysfunction, which is basically blood vessel problems. It can cause oxidative stress in the bloodstream. It can cause glycation, which is sugar literally just sticking to things. We The body doesn't want that glucose high in the bloodstream, so it converts it to triglycerides to be stored in a storage form of energy. Triglycerides, a picture in your blood of glucose being high and triglycerides being high should signal to everyone when they look at their labs that there's probably something going on inside inside the cell. It's a sign of mitochondrial dysfunction and chronic overnutrition. I would much rather see that glucose at 73 and that triglyceride at 50, which to me would say, oh, this cell's processing through energy, great. 